Hello, and welcome to the Spire Team testing video. Today we're going to be learning about how to use Spire Team to manage test sets. Test sets are ways of grouping test cases in Spire Team or Spire Test so you can assign them more easily to testers and how you can put together an integrated test set of different test cases that will be run by different people to handle a business scenario where you have a test process that runs across different organizations and different uh, business functions. So first of all, in a previous video, you would have learned how you will create and, and edit test cases. Now that we've created our test cases, which you can view, first of all, in your test case view, we will now be looking at how we group them into test sets. Before we get into test sets, I should mention that if you have a very small project with a small testing team, you might decide not to use test sets, but instead simply assign the test cases individually by changing the owner field of the test case to the person who will be testing it, hit the name of the person, hit the update button, and now it's been assigned to them. On the other hand, if you have hundreds of testers and thousands of test cases, assigning them individually using the test case option might be time consuming. And that's where we recommend the test set approach. So clicking on the test sets, either under the testing tab or on the main navig testing navigation, you'll be taken into the test set view. And that will show you a list of all the test sets in the project. Each of the test sets can be organized into different folders. And each test set will be displayed together with the name of the test set. In parentheses, you'll see the number of test cases in the set. The color bar at the right will show you how many tests are in the set and whether they passed or failed. You can hover the mouse over and get more details. For example, this test set has seven test cases. One is passed, which is the green. Two are failed, which is the red. And four are not run, which is the gray. You can also see when this test set is planned for, when it was last executed, who it was assigned to. If we click onto the test set, You will see the name of the test set, the long description that describes what the test set is testing and provides an overview and maybe a high level objective. Under that, we have different fields. Depending on the test set, you, if you're assigning the entire test set to one person, you will choose their name right here. And that will then assign that test set to that person when you get saved. If you have email integration turned on, when you make that assignment, that person will receive an email letting them know they've been assigned the test set. And that will then test set will then appear on their My page under the My Testing tab. Now, you as well as being able to assign test sets to human beings for manual testing, you can also assign them to computers for automated testing. If you're using the automation integration using Remote Launch or using Inflectra's own automation tool, Rapease. And there are separate videos on our website which actually outline how you will use either Rapease or Remote Launch with SpiraTest or SpiraTeam. But for now, very simply, if you want to assign it to a computer for automated testing, you simply don't choose the tester's name. Choose a computer name from the automation host list. That will change the type to automated. Change the status back to not started. And then you can choose the plan, date, and time. If for automated testing, you can also choose a recurrence pattern. So whether you want the test to be run in just one time, which is the default, or you want to be run hourly or daily, or any other frequency you choose. When you hit the Save button and it's set for automated, the entire test set will be then scheduled for automated testing, and the computer that's been assigned to will pick up the test set and all the tests within it, run all the tests, and send the results back. Now, on the lower sections of the test set page, you can see all the test cases in the set. Using drag and drop, you can move items around if you want to change the order, and that can be useful if you have the same tests in multiple test sets. You want to change the order to see if there's difference in behavior. You can add additional tests to the set using this Add Test Case dialog box. Although you can also do it directly from the main test case page using the tools Add to Test Set option. Each test case will be displayed along with the status from the last time it was run, the priority, estimated duration, and its actual duration. You can also assign individual tests to people in the set. The reason for doing this would be if, for example, you have an integrated business process that you want to assign to different people. For example, right now, if I, the way it stands, when I sign this test set, it's going to assign it to Joe. When Joe starts executing it, Joe will, will be able to run the first step. But then when it gets to the second step, Fred will have to run the second and third steps before it goes back to Joe to run the fourth step, and so on. This is a useful function if you have a business process you want to test end to end and different testers take part in that same process. 
In addition to the test cases tab, where you can view all the tests in the set, you can go to the test runs tab to see every individual execution of any test case in the set. You can have users log in and provide comments on the test set. You can also have custom fields. And these custom fields are important because if you set a value on this custom field, if there is a corresponding value on the test run entity in the system, when you run the set, that, was, that information will be pre-populated on the test result. So for example, if I choose Windows 7 as my operating system, when the tester goes to run the test set, that value for the operating system will be pre-selected for them and they won't be able to change it. On the other hand, if I want the tester to choose the operating system when they run the test, I can leave it unset in the test set. As you've seen on some of the other parts of the application, there's also an attachments tab where you can attach documents that relate to the test set, and you can view the history tab to view any change that we made to the test set. Finally, on this page, if you want to run the test set directly, you will click on the Execute button, and that will run the entire test set immediately. This is often used when you want to test out a new test set before you assign it to someone. You can also print the test set, which will print it out, including all the different tabs onto a printable view on a single page. This is also available in the Report Center, which in a different video you can look at if you look for the Spire Team reporting video. Thanks for taking time to learn about the test sets functionality of Spire Team. I hope you have a good day.